This video will show you how to export your inventory to an Excel spreadsheet and then use the tools within Excel to customize your inventory. So the screen you see in front of you is the saved reports screen and you get to it by clicking on the reports in Koha and then going to use saved. We're going to run the very top report, the inventory report, by clicking on the run button and then choosing run the report. This will bring the report up in front of you in the Koha view, but it's going to be easier to manipulate your report if you export it into the Excel spreadsheet, which you can do by scrolling down and downloading the report as a comma separated text. Click the download button and choose to open the report with Microsoft Excel. Okay, so once in the, spread, in the Excel spreadsheet, there are a number of uh, things you can do to make it easier to work with your inventory and to get it printed off. First thing is to expand your columns so that the information within each column and row fits nicely. Expanding the columns is simply done by bringing your cursor in between the two column headers, so right here in between A and B, clicking and holding the left mouse button down and dragging it across to make that column a little bit wider. And you can do this to each column one by one to get everything to fit into um, nicely into one column. Now column A we still have text running over into column B so to fix this if you right click on column A and choose the format cell option under the alignment tab you can wrap the text so that the text does not spill out over into column B but rather wraps around each cell. Uh, it's also important to know where one page ends and another page begins and this is not a default setting in Excel so to turn that on so to see where one page ends and another one begins click on the view tab and choose page layout the second button in from the left now you can see where your page breaks are if you prefer the normal view you can just click back on normal and get back to the view that we just had but you still have your page break this dotted line right here still shows you where your page break is so since we have a little extra space before our page cuts off we can expand column a our title column a little more just by dragging that a little bit more to the right and still be able to fit everything on one page when it gets printed off. Um, if you don't want to have the borrower column and the due date column visible, those are very easy to hide. If you click on E, highlight column E and drag over, hold and drag over to highlight column F and then right click, you can just choose the hide option from the menu that pops up and those two columns are just hidden they're not gone they're not they haven't disappeared but they are just hidden to bring them back you click on D and highlight over to G right click and choose unhide and they'll come back